In today's video, we decided to make a, moist, a DIY moist hide for a leopard gecko. We decided, I made it out of... Good morning, reptilians. Welcome and welcome back to the reptilian den, but not in the reptilian den because it's 29 degrees outside. This is den. Hello. So by popular, blah, 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 by popular, 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 right? Popular. <laughs> By pop, po by popular, is that good? <laughs> by popular demand, on today's video, I designed a moist hide for a leopard gecko. I made the hide out of styrofoam and grout, very similar to the original hide that I made for winter the leopard gecko. So here we go. First, I sketched out a rough draft of what I was hoping it would look like. This is an old deli cup from a Chinese place that we like to eat at from time to time. This is actually the moist hide. Really, I'm just building a case to go over it. First, I'm just tracing out a hole that the uh, deli cup is actually going to sit in. This is just a bunch of old styrofoam that we had laying around. I'm trying to recycle here. Really, I'm just cheap. Then I just take my trusty uh, foam cutter here and I start cutting out holes. See the link in the description if you're also interested in one of these. Then it's just a rinse and repeat process. I do this about, I don't know, 10 more times, I think, until I get the uh, primary shape of the hide that I was aiming for. Here, I start actually tracing the uh, shape of the hide right before finally cutting it all out. Honestly, I'm just uh, winging it here. I just have pretty good luck, I guess, for the way things turn out. Oops, sometimes luck catches up with me. I started pinning some nails into it just to help hold all the styrofoam together temporarily until I could get everything fastened together. This is what I got so far. Uh, as you can see, there's a few holes in it that I'm gonna need to patch up with the grout, but we're about to do that now. This is the same grout I used for the last hide. It's a grout that I got from Home Depot. If you wanna learn more about it, see the description down below. These are some non-toxic paints that I got at some craft store. Do not see the description down below. So I finished putting the first layer of grout on and I've let it dry overnight. Now it's time to start painting it. I decided to go a little wild on this one and paint straight lines. I didn't want to let the paint dry all the way. I wanted the paint to kind of smear into the grout, kind of creating more of a natural look. And this is the next day after all the paint and grout is dried. Now it's time to use some of this non-toxic shellac to start sealing it all in, making it waterproof and much more sturdy. I ended up doing two coats of this over two days. The final steps were just adding sphagnum moss to the moist hide. And here it is in its brand new home. All right, so here's the finished product. Uh, I currently took the plastic cup out that I was using for the actual moist hide, but I just wanted to show a nice close-up of it. Something that I had a lot of fun making, took incredibly way too long to make because I've been so insanely busy. But uh, yeah, this is it. That's solid. Does it look nice? Yeah, it looks pretty like good. It? It looks Does really it match? Good. Yeah, it matches Leave really a comment good. if you think it matches down below. <laughs> the comments are like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Just leave a comment that says yes. Yes. <laughs> if you guys have any suggestions for any future reptile DIYs that you want to see him do, make sure to leave a comment down below and he will try it. So if you like this video, be sure to like this video, subscribe, and hit that little bell for notifications. I know she posts in sometimes. <laughs> Sunday, oh. Sundays or something like that. I don't know. I'm not subscribed. What? <laughs> don't forget to check out her Instagram and my Instagram, of course, at Reptilian Den. There I like to post a lot of pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Until next time. Bye. No. Oh, was I supposed to say bye too? I think we usually do. Oh, three, two, one, go. Bye. <laughs>
I'm not okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Reptilians, welcome and welcome back to the Reptilian Den. Reptilian Den, is that what it's called? Reptile Den. Your Reptilian Den. Yeah, this reptilian. Is reptilian Den. Welcome over again. Um, blah. Well, today's video. Uh, in, to in today's video, and it just feels so weird. This is not natural for me. <laughs> in today's video, we decided to make a moist, a DIY moist hide for a leopard gecko. We decided. I made it out of. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to really comment on it. I always feel so fake, like commenting on it. I can just comment on it in the commentary. I can just grab it. Nah, that's a lot of work. I have to get up, go in the other room, open a door. But people like props. <laughs> props is like a thing. You want me to just do it? Nah. Okay. There you go. If you hit me with that! <laughs> Don't forget to check out her Instagram. Why would you shout out my Instagram? I was going to shout out mine next. This is for selfish reasons. Calm down. 